If negative 1 and 1 are two real roots of the polynomial function, which is this, and 0, 3 is the y-intercept of the graph f, what is the value of b? Before we start this problem, I just want to say whoever made this is really unique and creative. Good job. I think this is going to be a good review. First place you want to start, and we might as well take care of it, is this information right here. 0, 3 is the y-intercept of your graph. So when you got a polynomial like this, this represents your constant doesn't have that x right next to it. Your constant is going to be your y-intercept when it's in standard form like this. So we might as well exchange that right away. Your d value is going to be 3 from this information. Second thing that you got to know about this problem is the factor theorem. Make sure you guys remember that. The factor theorem states that if these are your roots, of the polynomial, then plugging them in into the function will equal zero. So if that was confusing, let me demonstrate it for you. Once again, if I plug in these roots into the function, all that means is that I'm replacing all my x values with my input negative one. Then all of it at the end is going to equal zero. Similar thing is gonna happen when I plug in that second root, except our input is one this time. Here's where the magic happens, because they're not gonna really torture you that much negative 1 to the third is going to get me negative 1 times a which is negative a remember anything squared is going to be positive so that's going to turn into a b this is going to turn into a negative c plus 3 equals 0 the bottom one simplifying that i'll get a positive a positive b once again and a positive c plus 3 equals 0 so you gotta check this out right here i think it's a pretty cool problem this is just a system of equations if we add these equations up negative a is going to cancel a b and b is going to turn into 2b c's are going to cancel out that's going to be positive 6 equals 0 ran out of space let me write it at the bottom solve for b and we get 2b equals negative 6 divide that by 2 and we get b equals negative 3 what a cool problem hopefully that was a good review for you if it was like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next episode peace